Good evening, ladies and germs. For this video, I am going to focus on a Salesforce exception that gave me some trouble last week, the template rendering exception. What is this annoying little exception that can pop up at the most inopportune times, like a little jack-in-the-box? And how can we make it go away so that we can finish whatever it is we're doing and get back to our Black Mirror Season 6 binge fest? We'll listen on, and I'll show you how to put the jack back in the box. First, I'll show you an example of how the template rendering exception can happen. Then I'll talk about why the exception is popping up. Then I'll talk about how to fix the exception. Simple. Hi, it's William from Smoothstack again. So how I'm getting this um, exception is with this flow that I've created. It's a super simple flow that automatically runs whenever a case is updated. And all it does is trigger an email alert that sends an email based off of one of the email templates that I've created. And this is the email template in question. Uh, again, super simple example. Um, it just has the billing street for the account for the case that triggered the flow at the top says, hello, case creator, hope all is well, thank you, organization name, and that's it. And this is the case record I'll be updating. So again, you update the case, which triggers the flow, which activates the email alert, which uses the email template. So I update the case. And oops, there we have it. Template rendering exception. Hmm, the merge field case.account.billingstreet doesn't look right. Fix the expression and try again. So what's happening? When the email alert tried to send the email, it tried to fill in the template by filling in the merge fields with data from the record that triggered the flow. Keyword, from the record that triggered the flow. Case.account.billingstreet isn't on the case record, it's on the account record that's related to the case. This would be called a cross-object merge field because it literally crosses objects to find data. Crossing objects is mostly fine with SQL and formula fields, but unfortunately, it's not possible with merge fields in an email template. So again, with the template rendering exception, you can expect the phrase template rendering exception to be in the error pop-up along with the merge field that caused it, which is very helpful. Your email template can't leave the case record to find the account data, so the easiest fix here is to bring the account data to the case record. We'll do this via a new formula field on the case record, which might be called a cross-object lookup. Before we get to that, let's do a quick knowledge check. Where in Salesforce is looking up data across objects using dot notation, i.e. child.parent.field, allowed? Select all that apply. A. Formula fields. B. Apex, C, SQL, D, email templates. I'll give you a minute to think it over. All right, if you guessed A, B, and C, then great job. Thanks for paying attention to my video instead of Black Mirror Season 6. All right, back to our cross-object lookup field. We're going to make this just like we would any other formula field. We're going to go into Setup, Object Manager. We're going to look up case, go into fields and relationships, hit new, formula field, uh, decide on a nice simple name, account, billing street, that's nice and simple. I'm going to do a text return type, next, insert field, case, account, Billing Street, insert that, check syntax just like we always should, no errors, hit next, keep the profiles, putting on the layouts, and save. All right, and voila. All right, and the next step is to go to my email template. Replace the merge field with the formula I just created. Uh, 
And it's that simple. But of course, the proof is in the pudding. Let's see if we still get the error now. And we don't. Um, all right, so I guess the only thing to check at this point is whether the email actually arrived or not. And it did. All right, so what did we learn today? We learned that template rendering exceptions are usually caused by problems with merge fields in email templates, and that if you're using merge fields to look up data from other objects, you're going to want to bring that data to your template using a cross-object lookup formula field. Now that I'm not getting that annoying pop-up anymore, I can finish my work and get back to my Black Mirror Season 6 binge. Enjoy the new season, everybody.